Hi folks, Thomas Hinson here with thomashinson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today's episode, I want to talk of another comparison, another, another furious battle. So today we're going to compare Python and Java and if you're a data engineer, which one of these is better, which one you should learn and talk about some of the differences between these. So find out my thoughts on Java versus Python right after this. All right, so today on Big Data, Big Questions, we are jumping in and talking about the differences between Python and Java and how that kind of goes into the role of data engineer and even we'll throw in machine learning engineer too to talk about it. So this is a question had um, on the comment section here below. And so, you know, if you if you ever watch any of the videos, you know, put it, uh, you know, put a question in the comment section here. I'll try my best to answer it here or reach out to me however you want to get your question here. So. Today's question, we're going to start off by talking about some of the differences between Python and Java. So first, let's jump in and talk a little bit about Java. So the Java programming language, you've heard me talk uh, in a couple other videos around, you know, my background in Java and how, you know, as I graduated college and went into my first career really in, you know, software engineering, I really thought I was going to be a Java developer. So, you know, I've had a love-hate relationship with it, like I believe most Java developers do because... It's not always the easiest to figure out what you're, you know, what you're kind of doing, but we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get down to our comparison. But Java's been around since the mid '90s. Uh, my favorite professor in college, Dr. Crabtree, um, was a Java developer, so he took that class very serious and required us to. So um, you know, that's where I found, you know, my passion for it. But you know, it's been around for a long time, and and typically they say, you know, the life cycle of languages, or at least at the time. You know, they figured they'd last like 10, 10 or so years, but it's really, like I said, we'll call it the mid 90s. It's been around. It's in version eight. And it's one of those that, you know, you've heard me talk about a ton on this channel. Or if you've been on any other channel where we've talked about big data and Hadoop, um, Java, you know, was the de facto, right? Like most of the open source products in the Hadoop ecosystem are base level written in Java. Now, you may have APIs that allow for you to write different languages, but at the base of it, it was all about Java. And that brought some of the complications that, you know, and criticism that other people have because, you know, Java can tend to be difficult, right? So, you know, figuring out which version of Java. I mean, I spent a lot of time <laughs> whenever you're going through install in the early days of Hadoop, just trying to figure out, all right, man, do I, do, do I have my environmental variables set up for the right version of Java? What kind of, what are you pointing to? So, you know, a lot of, a lot of things from that perspective, but very robust language, um, a lot of things still being done uh, from a Java perspective, like I said, in version eight, um, you know, in taking, you know, what's going on with the spring framework um, really opened the doors. It's something, you know, something that when I got back into Java in the Hadoop um, era, uh, that's what we use to uh, program to, you know, front front face inter interface and even some of the back end stuff that we were doing for applications that were using Hadoop. So really cool, really robust uh, language. And then now we want to compare Python. So Python, we've talked a lot about that on this channel. You know, a lot of people in the data analytics community, um, a lot of people, that's their first language to start off with. So Python's been around roughly, we'll call it the early 1990s. So it's been around in that, but being, you know, being around the same age or, you know, maybe even a little bit older than Java, it's still only in version three. So, you know, the way that they do their versioning is a little bit different. But like I said, it's, it's, it's a robust language from that perspective. It's object oriented, just like Java. But, you know, there's a there's a lot of other frameworks that allow for you to do multiple things. So because it's heavy in data analytics, don't get me wrong. Don't you know, don't think that it's only involved in that perspective. That's not what I'm saying. There's a lot of a lot of different things you can do. And there's a lot of crossover between what what Java can do and what you can, you know, JSON and some other things that kind of cross the, you know, cross the platform to give you access to Java and Python. So, you know, a lot of things there. But for some reason, you know, Python is really latched on and part of it may be just maybe a little bit more of the simplistic nature of it and ease to be able to get, get to programming with it. Really good from a data analytics perspective. So you go out there, look for any kind of tutorials. I mean, look at some of the higher level languages, you know, or look at it as a, it is a higher level language for a lot of things that's going on. So we talked about um, deep learning for J, which, you know, is a deep learning framework that's based in Java. It offers an API in Python too. So, you know, there's a, 
I would say there's a larger community probably of Python developers, or maybe this is a barrier to entry is a little bit easier. So um, Python has, has, has a fairly large com community and a lot of different frameworks that can use it too. So like look at any of the popular deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow or PyTorch or Cafe, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a Python API there too. I mean, even, in, you know, we talk about Spark and talked about it on this channel too, that, you know, we can do that from the perspective of Hadoop, you can have Python there as well too. So, so let's go through and figure out which one, you know, let's compare and contrast each one. So first thing, what about easier to learn? Um, the ease to learn, man, and I'm so biased, right? Like I said, Java was one of those, um, you know, was one of my favorite classes, was something I thought I was gonna do, but just comparing them both, I'm gonna have to give it to uh, Python. So a lot less code, a lot less things to implement, and a lot easier to just get up and going, you know, in from a Python perspective there. So that one, go into Python. Community support, man, and we're talking about this from a data engineering perspective. So from a community support, I will say the Java documentation is, probably better. I haven't looked at it in, in, in quite some times, but I, I did think it was very robust. But from a data engineering perspective, like I said, it just, it's just hard to say from a perspective of so many people, so many different things out there have APIs or, or, or use pot Python. So there's a lot of community there. So Python gets the win there too. All right. So number three, what about ease of use? So ease of use here, you know, I really like Java. <laughs> and if you watch this channel, I think that you would mistakenly think that I don't like Java, but ease of use has to go to Python. I really think it's easier to, to get involved there and get it up and running, you know, versus fighting with different, you know, different versions or even setting up your IDE environment. So there's a lot more, there's a lot more that goes into that, you know, right? Like, you know, creating, being able to create a quick Python, you know, a Python script in five lines and be able to run it versus doing that in Java there's a, there, there's a, there's a lot more there's a lot more that goes into that frameworks um, I'm probably going to give frameworks to Java just because I feel like I haven't given it more but there's there's so much there's so much more support um, you know just between between both those but I guess if you're taking really frameworks from the language but not from a data engineering perspective it probably goes to Java maybe it's a toss up I don't know I don't even know why we're keeping track at this point anymore. So, so who gets the win for data engineering? It's Python. So I, I, I tried Java. I tried, I mean, I know we go way back. Uh, I know we had some great times, but I think for data engineers right now, you know, if you're, you know, in, if you're doing things in the Hadoop community and part of, part of that, then, you know, definitely you want, you, you want, you want to be involved in Java and have that, but you don't have to have Java. We talked about that a ton here. And, you know, specifically, if you're looking more to be more of a machine learning engineer or getting into the data science realm, go run, you know, run straight to Python and start learning how to do that. Um, so but at the end of the day, it like everything else we say on this channel, it all really depends on the kind of role, what you're looking to do. So not beating up on Java from this perspective, but to win this challenge, I'm giving it to Python. Until next time, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss an episode of Big Data, Big Questions.